Henry. Henry has to go potty. But he's too consumed with the chipmunks to remember that he has to go. Come on, go to the bathroom. Silly. It's a really beautiful day. Squat, do the squat, do the squat, squat, squat. Yeah, it's like chilly out. It's nice. Yeah. Hey, Henry. <laughs> Henry, do you have to go potty? Do you have to go poopies? Henry. Come on. Chipmunks, wait. Wait, you guys, I gotta make sure. He's like, okay, I gotta poop, so sniff around for the poop, and then oh, I gotta send it to Chipmunk. Come on. Henry. Where did you go? You working on your iPad? Come on, you turned it off. Let's go. <coughs> I'm not interested. <laughs> nice today. It's cool. Did you go for a walk? Did you go for a walk? Yeah. Huh? How'd you do on your walk? He did good. Yeah? I'm the one walking up the hill though. It was nice and it wasn't too hot out. A nice little breeze. I don't have the windows open upstairs too. It's, it's so the, it's not breezy. It's not coming through the window like when you're outside. Does I feel bumpy? <laughs> Does I feel bumpy? It's mommy silly. It's mommy silly. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go to work for a little while since you're in good hands. People watch this thing go out for a little bit and then come back in. So it is really lovely out today and I'm gonna go over to work for a little while happy Monday August 22nd I am kind of a little sore I think from lifting Daniel all weekend I'm just gonna have to deal with it but at least I'll go sit at my office for a little while and get some stuff done and try to be positive and focused and yeah it was a good weekend my sister was here all weekend I'm just you know being there for her she's Got stuff going on, you know, so you have to support each other and try to build people up where they're in need and it kind of goes both ways sometimes, you know. Anyways, that's what's happening with me. Daniel's in great hands. Chris is here all day. I don't have a nurse the next three days. It's going to be hard on me. Not that I don't love, I love spending the day with Daniel. It's just the lifting part is just really um, physical and painful. We'll just deal with it. That's why I'm built like a truck driver. I got these big muscles. All right, so I made my lunch and I have all my work stuff. I don't have all my work stuff. I just realized I don't have my computer. Gotta go get it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Wow, Wendy. <laughs> Hope you've had a great weekend too. And God, it's so nice. It's like barely 70. And last night it was in the 50s. So I have all the windows open, no air conditioners running just really a nice pleasant change. My coffee. Coffee at Starbucks in Monroe. So it is like 10 minutes to 6. I am now leaving work. I've been here for six hours. The car parked really close to me. And, um, and then I'm going to be heading home, so I think tonight I'm going to take Sarah over to a store called Kohl's. I don't know if you guys know Kohl's. We're going to go, because we're just looking for a jacket for her, for Ireland. She wants a rain jacket, but she wants something that's practical, not too heavy, but can layer, you know, that kind of thing, and, and that doesn't cost a lot of money, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm a little tired from... A lot of computer work, but in a good mood for a Monday. I'm in a very good mood. Anyways, you just gotta try to stay focused on things that are positive and you know things where you can be strong and make a difference. I don't know. It's not worth going in the opposite direction, even though everybody does. You know, have bad days and all that. But 
I prefer to have more good days than bad days. Here comes my greeting committee. Here comes my greeting committee. Cute dress. Hi, friend. Hi, baby. Hi. All he wants is for you to pick him up right now. Look. Oh my goodness. Hi, buddy. Oh. Hello. So excited. Hi, Henry. What a good boy. How was your day, buddy? Hey, D. Checking on Daniel here. What's he doing? He's watching a movie. You watching up? Oh. You've quite the movie repertoire. Well, that's Schoolhouse Rocks. But... Schoolhouse Rocks. Did you learn something? Three is a magic number. No, let's go talk to Daddy. He doesn't need to go in treat time right now. Your hair is really pretty. You're welcome. Yours is too, Sarah. Three is the magic number. Hi. We're going to go now. Say hi to your friends. Tell everyone how you are. He's good. So I'm here with her. Where am I? I'm in front of Panera. Because I want to get some soup. Because I need something to eat for dinner. And after we get soup and a coffee, we're going to go to Cole's, which is down the street. And see what we can find there for my little world traveler over here trying to finalize her her wardrobe for three months in Ireland oh my goodness gracious let's go have some soup and coffee and maybe a cookie mm. yeah. we go into Coles, Coles, Coles I'm not a big fan of Coles to be perfectly honest I'm not a big fan of this store I never have much luck here, but we're gonna try. You gonna wait for me, Miss? I'm vlogging. So we're gonna go into the coals and look for a jacket for Sarah. Okay, the quest continues. We are now at Burlington Coat Factory. We drove over across town because Coles had zero coats or jackets. They just had sweaters that cost too much money. So now we're going to go to Burlington. And if Burlington Coat Factory doesn't have coats, then something is wrong with the universe. Can I just say that August 22nd is not a good time of year to be looking for a nice raincoat. There's not much to choose from. <laughs> Actually, it's like nothing to choose from. So I think we're going to have to go back to the mall and spend more money because it's the only place we found one that she liked so far, unless I ordered one. No coats. No coats at Burlington Coat Factory. They had coats. They had old picked over coats with boogers on them. Did you see the one raincoat that had the big booger on the sleeve? No. Oh, God. No coats. We don't want like a winter coat. We just want a jacket. For heaven's sakes. Where's the coats? Where are they? They're probably in the back room somewhere. I'm losing my mind looking for a coat. Well, we're back home. It's uh, probably about 10 and uh, I was just about to settle in and look at some stuff on YouTube. Henry's a little active because he's been kind of mellow today. But my friend Daniel decided to wake up. So, look at him. He's, in the, he's wide awake. He was asleep when I came up here. This is what I deal with. So now I gotta Wake up, <laughs> go back down, settle him down, see if I can get him back to sleep. Yeah, so we went out tonight, Sarah and I on a mission to try to find a raincoat. I've looked, we looked at the whole mall. <laughs> um, we did see one or two at like Lord and Taylor. They were expensive, you know, Michael Kors and Calvin Klein, and she really didn't want to spend money like that on, on a coat that she just needs to protect her, but John's looking at the weather in Ireland where she is going to be. It's going to rain and be in the 50s. So it's going to be chilly. So she's going to need a jacket that will protect her from the rain and not necessarily be like a hot coat like we wear in the cold, cold winter. Layering is the 
thought process. We're gonna have to go back probably and pick one up um, at the mall. So I don't know when, maybe tomorrow night, I don't know. Eh, I'm so tired of going to stores. But we really, we looked everywhere. We went to Burlington Coat Factory, we went to Kohl's. Um, we didn't look at Target, but at this point, it's just getting exhausting. So I'm gonna go down and work with Daniel and this is what happens. I don't go to sleep until he goes to sleep. So there's no like, mom's gonna go to bed at 10 or mom's gonna go to bed at nine or everyone goes to bed at seven and then we go to bed. No, I go to bed whenever he's asleep. Hi bud, you're not sleeping. Did we wake you up when we came in? Did we wake you up? You all right? I saw you touching your pillow. All right, I'm gonna turn the light off. You okay, honey? Hi, mommy all day day tomorrow. Mommy all day day. Are you okay?